Welcome to the Worldwide Toka community. My name is Caroline, and I'm a student from Brigham Young University. I'm Rebecca, and I'm also a student from Brigham Young University. Today we will learn how to use Toka's concordance feature. The concordance is a list of context lines that users receive when they click on the context button. The concordance feature is useful for two reasons. It allows you to check how accurate results are, and it allows you to see if a word is used in a different context than expected. We will also be looking at the expanded context option, an offshoot of the concordance feature. The expanded context feature is useful for two reasons. It gives more of the surrounding words, and it includes the full citation for the source of the material. We will explore each of those reasons in the later tutorial. For now, let's begin. We've already logged in, so first we will press the reset button to clear all results from previous searches. Not resetting may interfere with your current search. We are now ready to do a search. Rebecca, type the word hair in the search string box. Put brackets around the word. In other words, lemmatize it so we can see all of its forms. Then click the search button. Okay, where can I find my results? Your results appear in the right half of the screen. You can see how many times the word hair appears. 73,905. And how many times the words hairs appears. 2,385. Are these numbers the concordance? No, the concordance is the list of context lines. The concordance appears when you click on one of the words. Let's click on hair. You now see the concordance below. What are some scenarios when someone would want to use this concordance? Well, I did a search a couple of weeks ago for the word legit, a very informal English word. I was surprised to see that it appeared on a couple of academic publications. I would have never thought that any formal writing would include the word legit. However, when I looked in the concordance, I saw that legit wasn't in the academic article itself. Someone had commented on the article and used this word. That reminds me of a time when I was searching for swimming and I was using the tagger because I only wanted adjectives. The concordance allowed me to check the accuracy of the tagged words and because I saw that the search was pulling up a lot of verbs as well, I decided to modify my search. It really helped me get better results. Let's get back to the concordance. Can I make it bigger? Yes. Hold your mouse over the concordance and it expands. How do I get back to my original screen? You simply move the mouse away from the concordance. Let's get back to the enlarged concordance and continue exploring that. I can see only a small sample of words that are near the word hair. Is there any way to get a fuller context for the word? If I were a student learning to speak English, I would want to get a more complete context so I could get a better feel for how the word is used. Yes, there is a way. COCA allows you to see the expanded context, a feature unique to this corpus. To see the expanded context, you have a few options. You can either click on the number, the year, the genre, or the source of the quotation. However, you cannot click on the quotation itself. All right, I will click on the year. Exactly. You can now see a broader context for the word hair. The word you searched is underlined and bolded. What is the information above the expanded context? That is a full citation of the source of the material. It is useful for those who are doing their own research and will need to cite where they got their information. Wow, that's really useful. How can I return to the concordance? Press the back arrow to return to the concordance. Can I use the concordance feature to do more complex searches? Yes. Would you like to see the concordance for words that commonly surround the word hair? That sounds interesting. I like searching for call kits. To begin, click the reset button. In the search string box, type an asterisk followed by a space and then the word hair. Now click the show box in the sections heading so you can see all of the genres. Now click the search button.
There are a lot of results this time. That's because these words all commonly appear with the word hair. Which ones would you like to see the concordance for? I would like to see the concordance for black hair and blonde hair in the spoken and fiction genres. Great! Click on the checkbox next to those two words. Then click the checkbox under spoken and fiction. Now click the context button. Thirty-six pages? That is a long concordance list. How is it organized? The concordance list is organized by year, with the most recent items first. If you don't have time to look through all of the pages, you can do a random sample of years and genres. Decide how large you want your sample to be, and then click on the number. Let's look at a sample of 200 context lines. Thank you so much for showing us how to use both the concordance and the expanded context features, Caroline. We now know how to check results for accuracy, see a word in context, and access the full citation on material. You're welcome, Rebecca. If you have any further questions, you can read the help manual available at the website. Good luck with all your future searches.